stopping by the channel for another Screwy Tuesday. Appreciate it. My name's Chuck. And uh, we'll start with the rotary table here. Uh, not going to do a number four on it, but I want to beat this guy to death. But I did finish up adding a three jaw chuck on top of the pallet. So I can use T nuts, take the pallet off, and I can use T nuts to hold product on the rotary table. I can use the pallet and I have the ability to clamp things to the pallet and then I've got the three jaw chuck uh, mounted on here, all concentric. Um, my larger rotary table set up the same way, the only other difference is it's got a square table on it. So this guy can go into the cabinet, of course this is sitting in the vise, um, it would end up on the mill table because with all this buildup, it's running out of space. But anyway, I wanted to finish with that without uh, beating, the, beating the subject to death. Quick update, uh, just on me. Again, not to beat that to death. Uh, last, Tuesday, last Wednesday, I had my second uh, brachial, th bra brachial therapy treatment. Everything went great. Uh, and then Friday, I got a, another hormone shot. And... Uh, other than that, kind of knocking the crap out of me and uh, really suffering from hot flashes. Uh, I'm on my way to health. Um, next uh, thing will be a PSA test in December to see where I'm at. Uh, just like to thank everybody for your support. My son, Tim, still in the hospital, uh, though he's been off a oxygen mask now for the second day. Um, his lungs are pretty well beat up, but uh, we're slowly making progress. Okay, now tonight's, uh, today or tonight's video, whenever you're watching this. Let me uh, flip to a short video here of uh, work holding in the bandsaw. back from that. You can see I was holding a piece there to cut um, using clamps on a uh, block that I um, have used in the past and I've shown in the past. Let me let me grab it. Here it is here and actually in that little video I did actually start to cut into the, uh, the pallet here. This has worked really well Hang on, I'll grab one more thing. This has worked really well. Let's say I wanted to trim, you know, an eighth inch off that slug right there and do it in my horizontal bandsaw. Well, I've got a fence for alignment and then I've got the hold downs and I can go ahead and come up with a, with a, a toe clamp on it. It's worked fantastic. While well, I was cheating and trying to cut the long ways, typically the blade is coming across this way and I was coming across this way, hence the cut. So I, I went off on a tangent and said, okay, I'm gonna build a new pallet for the bandsaw to allow me to cut small pieces um, and have it really simple to set up. So let's go over to the uh, welding table and I've got a setup I think that's going to work really nice. Well, as I mentioned, I was planning on maybe building a pallet. I looked at my tooling cabinet and I have this uh, unit right here. I've used it in the past, shown it on my mill and it's basically 12 inches by 12 inches and quarter inch uh, quarter inch uh, 20 threads uh, in a one inch pattern. So it's really a nice plate. I remember that I had picked these guys up, can't twist, and it was one of those deals buying a bunch of tools, saw them, threw them in the pile. Don't remember what I paid for them, but I know that I didn't pay much for them. 
So what I have here is a situation where I can clamp pieces down onto the pallet and put it on my horizontal bandsaw and make this cut. Now you notice I have Allen heads here. When this piece is larger, I can just bump it against the Allen heads and now as long as this is a 90 degree corner, I have an alignment fence using these Allen heads right here if I have a longer piece where I want to slice off. This piece, it isn't 90, so it's simply just measuring, measuring off of the pallet uh, for alignment right there. Um, let me uh, go set it up in the saw and let's give it a try. I haven't tried it yet. Clamps down real nice. These things uh, are spring-loaded um, for, quick, for quick setups. Um, nice little unit. This one, it'll be a third one. I can always go three if I need it. Um, so it'll be an extra one that'll stay with the uh, unit. Here's a setup. Probably the only thing I don't care for is that I do have to move the uh, support arm all the way back because otherwise it'll hit the pallet. Okay, we're nice and tight. So uh, let's, uh, let's give it hell and see if it works. This is the first shot. Now I actually have a steel plate that's maybe 9 by 9 3 8 um, but I really wanted to go with the aluminum. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about the rusting with the uh, water-soluble solvent. Now I found uh, also uh, there's no rush getting the blade to engage, so I let it, uh, let it take its time and uh, get the full blade set in the, uh, in the part that's getting cut. Uh, this saw has been just a wonderful saw. Okay, so far so good. Uh, I'll bring you back here uh, when we get close to the end. Getting close to the end. Bingo! Let's pull that piece out of there. Okay, there's the piece. It's half inch by about eight inches. And uh, I held it off of my line there on purpose so I can just mill it to size. But uh, right there I got uh, 868. Uh, And got 882. Uh, I'll take that over uh, that distance. So, hey, I think I got a sweet setup now for cutting uh, any kind of uh, random pieces like this. Worked out really nice. Hope you enjoyed and catch you again on another uh, Screwy Tuesday.